My name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps, Arizona. And today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Western Digital My Passport. This is the third one of these that I've owned. So I thought that I could do like a little versus video as well and a thousand mile review of the one that I've taken with me on literally all of my camping trips when I film. So also I apologize about the sound on occasion. I have a new setup for the microphone because my camera is different. So the sound may be a little kind of weird in some of the videos, sorry. Anyways, let's get to the simple unboxing of this little thing. By the way, I love these as long as you use them correctly. They're very easy to use and they work great for video editing. I use them all the time for video editing. So they have great speed and they work really well for that type of application. So let's pull this out. It does look like I got another black one. I don't know. I, th I thought I clicked on the red one, but whatever. So anywho, so this is the one that I have here. And as you can see, it comes with the hard drive. Again, I've owned three of these, so I'm excited to show you guys what each of them looks like, right, in turn. And this is the five terabyte version. Uh, let's just see what it says on the back here. It says contents, portable hard drive, super speed, USB cable, WD discovery software for backup. We don't need that. Compatibility, Windows 10, 8.1, downloadable NTFS driver to read write on Mac o OS. So I, I do use a Mac, right? I have a MacBook Pro series that I do all the editing on and you can use this uh, for MacBook editing. You just have to reformat the hard drive, but it's pretty easy and it's a way you go, you know? So maybe I'll do some tutorials if you guys are interested. Otherwise today we're just gonna be doing the unboxing. So here's the hard drive itself. As you can see, it's pretty sleek looking. The newest version does, uh, it does appear to be smaller and the plastic casing appears to be tighter against it, right? You can tell. And it still has the slashes across. I'll show the other two that I have. Uh, video editing, you know, it takes up a lot of space, okay? So it's, uh, you have to have a bunch of these lying around. That's all I have to say. Or have like a server or something, right? So you can't see there where uh, you put in the USB cable. It's a specialized cable, which we're going to unpack next, I'm sure. So here's the instruction booklet, but we don't need that because we are men. But no, we're not men, but you know, we are women and we don't need no sticking instructions. So as you can see, this is a specialized cable, right? It's not going to be, uh, one that you use for like Samsung devices. Like a lot of my stuff is for Samsung devices or your iPhone. This is a, a arbitrary cable, right? That is used only for Western digital products. You can see it plugs in nicely there. Ta-da. And then this, yeah. So you can see there that it's USB 3.0. So that means that it's gonna be ultra fast when connecting to your computer. And that's pretty much it. I mean, when I unbox this, this is how I'm gonna set it up. I just plug this in. I have a converter in order to convert to USB 3.0 and away we go. So that's pretty much it. That's all I want to do for this video. I plan on doing a versus video. Let me know if you want to know how to uh, use an external hard drive, you know, how to format an external hard drive or whatnot. I can do some more technology videos in the future if you guys like them. So let me know how you feel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for joining me on this Jillian Camps Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this content if you liked it and you want to see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you want to follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below, or you can like my page on Facebook or on Instagram. That's at Jillian Camps, Arizona. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.